Jake and Tizzy, book two, The Ice Lolly. The Ice Lolly, welcome to the world of Jake and Tizzy. When Jake's mum drops him off at nursery, she always says, Listen to your teacher and be good. OK, I will, says Jake. Tizzy goes too. Jake loves to go to nursery. He hangs up his coat, then finds his picture and sticks it on the registration board, all by himself. Then he sits Tizzy on the nursery toy shelf. Jake can choose what to do for most of the time at nursery. He likes playing outside, painting, and water play best. It's a hot morning, so Jake goes straight outside to play. Today, Jake is playing a chasing game with Taylor. Can't catch me, calls Jake. They run round and round the nursery garden, laughing and taking turns to chase each other. There are four groups at nursery, blue, red, green and yellow. The teacher, Miss Sung, says that there is an activity today for the blue group. Jake is in the blue group, but he is running around outside and doesn't hear the teacher. The children in the blue group wash their hands and put on white aprons. Today they are making orange ice lollies. The teacher writes their names on a lolly stick. The children squeeze the juice out of the oranges and pour the juice into the ice lolly moulds. The teacher puts the sticks into the orange juice and then puts them in the freezer to set. We will eat the lollies later, says Miss Sung, at group time. The children all go off to play. Later at group time, all the children in the blue group sit on the carpet. Miss Sung has pictures on the wall of eyes, ears and a child sitting still. Good looking, good listening and good sitting, says the teacher. Then Miss Sung tells the children that she is going to read a story. Jake sits and looks carefully at the pictures in the book. He likes stories. You are showing good listening, Jake, says Miss Sung. 
Miss Sung reminds Jess to look at the book. She is playing with her shoe. Samuel is rolling up one of his trouser legs. <gasps> that is not good listening, says Miss Sung. Miss Sung gets the ice lollies from the freezer. Jake likes ice lollies. Then Miss Sung reads out the names from the sticks and gives out the ice lollies. Miss Sung doesn't call Jake's name. He feels sad. That's because you didn't come in from the garden and make one, says Miss Sung. I didn't hear you, says Jake. I made one for you anyway, Jake, says Miss Sung. Jake smiles as she hands him the ice lolly. You must listen more carefully says Miss Sung. There are lots of nice things you might miss out on. Walking home, Jake tells Mum about the ice lollies. You do that at home when your dinner is ready, says Mum. You never come when I call. Jake is quiet for a minute. I was sad that I didn't make my own ice lolly, he says. I will try to listen all the time, not just when I am right beside you. The End